We've had the best part of 5,000 people at the Jay Davidson Stadium this afternoon. It's finished Altrincham 1, Oldham Athletic uh, nil, And a delighted Phil Parkinson uh, joins us. Phil, uh, overall, was that, was that a fair result? Well, you tell me. Um, I think so. I felt we were very dominant in the first half. You're always going to have to weather a little bit of pressure from them in the second, and I felt we managed that really well. The goal uh, that we uh, that we scored, uh, Oldham won't be too happy with it, but uh, Elliot uh, Newby and Chris Con Clark combining uh, superbly, and it was a really good team performance today. Yeah, it, well, it has to be. It has to be to be where we are in the league. It has to be to beat an Oldham Athletic ex Premier League team, a manager who's got out of this division twice before um, you've got to get everything right and they did today we played some lovely stuff in that first half we did and um, I was just speaking to the TNT guys over there I've said it a few times the patterns that Neil works with them in training you could see the fruits of that labour um, we were carving them open at times when we got it right the front four are a joy to watch at the moment they're really clicking and uh, noobs I know it was a, a bit of a tricky pass, and it didn't, it didn't nearly go right, but he, he found Chris in the right area, and that's a really unselfish bit of play. Could have took it on himself, um, and, and we got the rewards for that. And so important to get the uh, first goal, as it always is in the National League, but particularly today, because Oldham really needed the three points, and that made their job very difficult. Yeah, well, of course they do, but we did as well, so people kept saying that to me, that they needed the three points. We were desperate for it to cement our place or, or get as close to cementing our place in the playoffs as possible. We've been ahead of the other North West teams pretty much all season. We're desperate to stay ahead of them come the end of the season to show that we're sort of in pole position and we've worked hard to do that. Um, overachieving players, overachieving football club, that's what we're all about and we, we've done it once again there. Some magnificent uh, scenes at the end of the game. Oh, it was brilliant. I mean, that's why we're all in this game, to celebrate their moments. Probably milked it a little bit at the end with my son, but I wanted him to experience that. My other son, Charlie, has been in front of the crowd before, so my other son, Ronnie, I wanted him to feel what it was like to see everybody cheering and chanting. And uh, like I said, they're the, that's why you work so hard for their moments. The hard work is probably that big and the, the joy is that much, so I'm going to enjoy it when it comes along. So a debut for uh, Ronnie in front of the uh, the Alti uh, fans, and now we we've gone we finished a, a really important phase of the season. Four games in ten days didn't start that well with the defeat against uh, Gateshead in what was a really good game of football. But since then, three victories, so nine points from the twelve. Fantastic return. Yeah, I think we're right up there on the form charts. I know there was a lot of doubters and critics when we went through that tricky spell. But I've always sort of, or sorry, we've always stuck, stuck to our principles, known what we've good at, uh, executed it as well as we can nine times out of ten. And that's the reward you get when you, you don't deviate away from what you know you're good at. And we've done it ever since we've been here. You could see, even against a very physically dominant Oldham team, we didn't go away from what we, we, we felt we needed to do to win the game, which was dominate possession as much as we can, get our combinations going as much as we could, put their back line under as much pressure as possible, but playing to our strengths, not just going A to B, and it worked today. We've defended uh, well it, today, but Oldham have created a few chances as well. But one of the features of our game that has been better this season than any other season that I can remember is, is the blocking and the putting the bodies on the line. Well, it's, it's growth, isn't it? You've got defenders who probably there was big question marks over last season because we, we, we were the four, fourth worst for conceding goals, we're right up there. We're one of the best, so that shows it in terms of not conceding goals. So that shows a massive improvement. And you only get that with players growing, developing. And that can be painful at times, and people don't want to wait for that. I mean, just look at young George Wilson now. Um, look at how he's blossoming. But again, we've got to be careful what we're doing with him in terms of he's being massively exposed. He's had three games on the bounce. He looks a bit tired today. But you think about last season with Coops in and out of the team, going on loan, growing, developing, Bainesy. Eddie Jones, uh, I know Banco's come in, but ultimately they've all developed and grown as we have as a football club. Elliot Osborne was named as the uh, sponsor's man of the match and his form in, in recent weeks has, has been absolutely top-notch. Yeah, I um, mean, he epitomises what we look for in a centre midfielder. Again, there's lots of areas for improvement with Elliot, but he's willing to embrace that. And I've said that to all the players, as long as they're willing to listen and willing to improve, we'll always stick by him as a football club. And we've, we've shown that and you, you've reaped the rewards of that in terms of lads who are now blossoming. So we'll, we'll keep with that principle and 
And lads here, they've got, they've got to have a few traits in terms of they've got to be comfortable with the ball. At this level, you've got to be athletes, you've got to be coachable, but you've got to be willing to, to look at your game and improve on it. So all the lads out there, that's why we're getting these results because they've all been willing to do that. So the hours that we spend in analysis, which sometimes can be a bit grueling and painful, it's to get the best out of them. The hours we spend on the training pitch is to get the best out of them and all the additional bits that the, the football club do to make them feel special, wanted, looked after, because they are people as well. That's why you're getting the rewards because as a football club, we do a lot of things right. I think there's a lot, a lot of clubs who will get a player in towards the end of the season just for the last uh, few games and they make an impact. And Mitch Hancock's in, in very few minutes has, has certainly done that. Yeah, definitely. We needed that, didn't we? Because they were exposing us a little bit about mid-second half. They were coming through the middle of us. I, I think George was tiring because he's played. That's his third, well, fourth game, fifth game. I, I can't keep up with how many he's played now, but he's, he's barely played this season. We're asking a lot of him and uh, George... Uh, Mitch, come on and showed us up there. So uh, three games left to play now. The great thing is we've got a break this week. Absolutely, and I must say, where I've spoke about my children, I must say a special mention to my wife. She never gets a mention. We've probably not had much time at Easter, so thank you for your support. Because without her, I couldn't do this. She looks after the kids um, and, and is just a, a brilliant woman. And uh, she helps me to support the lads. So... Then people behind the players, behind the staff, they deserve special mentions. They, they get forgotten at times. She was here today, so I hope she's enjoyed it with the kids. I'll find out after. Um, but yeah, brilliant day, brilliant occasion, and this is what it was all about. So thanks to everybody for making it a special occasion, Oldham fans as well as Altrincham fans, but our fans were absolutely outstanding. Yeah, Christmas uh, holidays, Easter holidays, great for, uh, great for fans, great for uh, people generally, great for players. Maybe not great for uh, players and managers' families. No, not at all. So we've had to be really disciplined. They've got a couple of days off now so they can enjoy themselves tonight if they want. But that's that discipline over the Easter weekend, which ever, is ever so difficult. Everyone thinks just because they're full-time, they've got to do it. We're at the bottom of the full-time ladder. They're not getting paid millions of pounds. This won't change their lives. But what they do do is, is they stick to what they're asked to do. They're really disciplined. And that's why we've got that result today. Because if they didn't, if anybody did their own thing, we wouldn't have got that today. A couple of teams have uh, not played uh, today who are in the uh, playoff uh, mix, uh, FC Halifax Town and uh, Gateshead. One or two other results have gone well for us, so uh, it's looking fairly rosy. Yeah, me and Neil speak all the time about the different results and we said after that five-game uh, difficult period that we had, it's just about focusing on ourselves. I think we missed that boat of of playing a Dorking when that got called off and I think there was a couple of others wanting their south end and it, it crippled us a little bit and you can play teams at the right time and the wrong time and probably we're that team that people don't want to play at the moment and we've got to make sure we continue that good form. I said all the way through the season, injuries are the bit with having a small squad that'll hurt us. That's why we were hurt when we had that five game difficult period. But ultimately they're all back now and if we can keep them fit, listen, we've got a puncher's chance in any game in this division. And whilst we did uh, lose a number of games uh, during that uh, period, the great thing is we've won the rest of them. We haven't drawn a game since the beginning of uh, the year. I think it was Halifax Town on uh, New Year's Day. So there's plenty of three points hauls up. And I think that, that shows how we approach games. We're not trying to draw games. We're trying to win games. I know you'll take a draw and I've been disappointed we've not had a couple. But ultimately we never set a team up to sort of keep a clean sheet so to speak and keep the opposition out we're trying to score goals and that's why people want to sorry that's what i'd want to watch if i was paying to to watch football and ultimately we were able to do that today put on a show again and that's why we're winning games not losing games or when you lose it's a it's a nip and tuck game because you're really going from you giving the opposition something to think about um but yeah absolutely the way the players are focused and, and geared up at the moment we, we, we'd fancy it against anyone Big day for the football uh, club, big crowd, TNT Sports here, and uh, we've put on a show. We certainly have, yeah, and I, I'm ever so proud of everyone, staff, volunteers, fans, players. Today's today, Games like today are what it's all about, and um, it's just a big sigh of relief as a manager, because um, every time you come out, it's probably the only industry where you get judged sometimes twice a week, once a week, where your job's analysed to the, the, the tenth degree. Um, so to carry that every single game is draining every single week. But ultimately the only way I can answer it is by what 
the team does on the pitch and it's not just me who takes any credit for that it's Neil it's the staff it's it's uh it's all of them that everybody associate with this football club is why we get results like that so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone well thank you for your time today on this uh, interview this afternoon Phil have a good couple of days off and uh, Thursday start preparing for Mark White and Dorking looking forward to it